Welcome back, guys. Mangitura M. Dari. Mangitura Adam. And this is TVTV. Today, um, we want to just talk. It's it's a lot. We have so much that we want to talk to you guys about, inform you about, and those videos are coming. But today, we want to talk about um, something that we feel like is super important, which is protecting your dream protecting your ideas and this goes for everywhere um in the world right now currently we are in gambia africa but you have to protect your dream all over but we're going to talk about protecting our dream and why it's important to protect to protect your dream in africa as well so you guys understand a little bit of like our world i guess now before we start make sure you like comment and subscribe below because we answer all comments and we love to hear you guys' responses and the likes and everything help the algorithm as well so please make sure you subscribe and share with your friends and family if you can and we wanted to talk about this topic because it's very important especially when you're moving to another country and you're starting that foundation all over again you know, we moved here, just us two and our children. So we don't have any grandparents, we don't have anybody else that can really like help us that's here on the ground. So we had to get all of the connections ourselves and some of the connections we got before we even moved here. But when it comes to having a goal and because as we know, when you come to Africa, you don't come here for a job, you come here to start a business. So as far as having a goal, it's with a business in mind. That's your goal. And a lot of times, you know, we kind of are we kind of have a crab in the bucket mentality where we'll pull each other down if we see somebody else with an idea or we won't let somebody idea flourish or if somebody you know confides in us and you know we have a meeting with them or something like that and suddenly the idea is being taken another way and we have to be very careful because anywhere in the world not just here in the Gambia somebody can do your idea but do it in such a way that it throws dirt on it and now nobody else wants to get into that market or do business with you or just because of how somebody else did something and if you do if you are are up to date on the gambia and read the repat movement that is here you've heard of different things that have happened already where certain people came they did some stuff and the wider community didn't like it and now it kind of threw a little it set that whole thing back by years so we have to be very careful when we come here and do partnerships and, and we come here and have different ideas and want to confide in each other and team up and do these things because you never know who you're really sitting across from. Yeah. Like Adam said, you know, the biggest stress I think that we're experiencing from protecting our own ideas is the um, fear of somebody else ruining it and it's not that people can't do um the same things that we're trying to do i think many times in our videos we've expressed like there's many types of bread on the bread owls many different peanut butters many different jellies and even if you mix them together you still get something great so that's never we'll never try to say that any idea that we have is something that we don't want anybody else to do but when it comes to your dreams when it comes to um your goals you want to be careful of who you speak to what you say because people will insert themselves people will not only try to do what it, whatever it is you've expressed to them with all of your joy and enthusiasm and energy, mm -hmm. but they'll also, or they'll try to um, insert themselves in a way like now they're a part of your business somehow, some way they were a part of the creation of the idea and not even, and they want, but, and the pro the issue with that is 
they won't do that in a way um that's oh, they won't do that in a way that's um professional they'll just one day you're having a conversation and now you know it's your it's you all of you guys' idea or they have their own inputs on it and another reason why you should not um express your dreams and your goals to everybody is because you have naysayers you have people that you can tell your idea to beautiful idea great idea you have all the energy behind it but they can't see your vision they can't see what it is that you are trying to pull down and bring into the 3d they can't see it no. and it's not for them to see but they might depending on their thought process they might and this is something that we get often speak negatively on it tell you that you know it's not going to work you're not going to make any money or just breed any kind of fear personal fear that they might have onto you so you just have to be careful um of that because those types of things is what begins to discourage a dreamer those are the types of things that begin to pull you back a little bit from your goals because say this is your mom so now you're actually considering what this person is saying say this is a spouse now you're actually listening to what this person is saying so you have to be careful i mean you have to be careful i'm not saying don't talk to your spouse about your dreams exactly because <laughs> because something some people you have to you have to consider mm -hmm. you know your spouse your parents, these people that you know have the best intention for you right. are the people that you can say, okay, even some friends that you've had for a while and you really know that you can confide in. But the majority of people out there, we, uh, me and Amzadi, uh, maybe four or five years ago, we heard somebody say, your ideas are like a cloud. you know. And if that cloud goes into the air, everybody has their own ideas. And once you release your cloud and they share their cloud, they're going to co-mingle. And sometimes they don't mingle together. Or like she said, naysayers might bring your cloud down. So give it time. You know, like J. Cole said, if they don't know your dreams, they can't shoot them down. So kind of incubate it a little bit and make sure that you have everything. And like I always tell my better half, you know, we want to have credibility, which means that take your time, actually do some work, put your feet on the ground, have a substantial item, a material, something that you can show. And then once you come with that goal or your dream that you want to propose, people are already like, yeah. I see you've done it. I see you've got clients already. I've seen you've already put in the research. You got the degree, whatever the case may be. And then that goes a lot farther than you just saying one day you meet up, oh, this is what I want to do. I want to build a new AI firm. And they're like, well, you've never done that before. you know. But if you already have some traction behind it, you stay quiet and you actually work on your goal, it goes a lot farther. And definitely here in the Gambia. Because like I always say, the Gambia right now, development-wise, is the Wild West. So you can come here and you can do a lot. And as repats, we need to do more together. So we also have to be strategic in our mindsets and know that, okay, everybody's human. Even if you're a repat, you're still human. So you never know this person can have your best interest or not. So we have to definitely be cognizant of that and say, okay, let's... Let's put our, 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 our efforts where our mouth is and then come to each other with goals and proposals. Because to be honest, me and my wife, we've been burnt before with business dealings and things like that. Having a dream, having a goal, being excited about it, proposing it, showing it to other people and they're not understanding and everything you know, collapsing around that business deal just because one or two other people didn't understand what was going on, you know. But the wider body does understand what's going on. And a lot of times, well, I'm going to say this. A lot of times it does stop businesses from progressing. But when you have a strong unit and a strong concept and a strong organizational structure, you can still continue on your business. And that's what me and my wife do with Vegas Business Group every day. Yeah. And a, um, a strong filter yeah. of negativity. You have to be able to let things go. Let whatever they did to you go. Let whatever they said to you go. Let how you felt about the situation go. Feel it. 
We're not telling you not to feel. We're just saying that have that moment, process it, and release it. Because um, you're, you're going to experience these things on all journeys. But specifically when we're talking about our dreams, our goals, you're going along that ride, you're going to have ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. So you have to, when you're down, you have to say, wow, you know, why am I feeling like this? What is putting me in a negative mood, a negative atmosphere? What's making me unmotivated? All those things filter that out of your life and continue on, you know, with your dream. That's absolutely true. Because at the end of the day, there's, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're in the States, Germany, wherever you are, you know, here in Africa, you're going to have people that push back on what you want to do. So you have to first do your research, like we always say, do your research, do your research, do your research on where you're going, where you're going to, what the people need, all of that stuff. And then you have to structure and organize your goal and your dream into something that you know is steadfast. And you know that it's going to be successful and it's and it has the all the defenses you need in that environment like my wife was saying earlier even if you got to take a trip to that place but um if you have these things in order in line even when you propose something or if you don't you're going to be okay especially here in the gambia because we live here in the gambia that we've been here for 11 months now and we've seen a whole lot and that's because we've integrated not only with the local community but with the repack community and we've seen the different sides of it and how business interplays. So if you take anything from this video, first, I want you to like, comment and subscribe. But if you take anything from this video, just understand that we are all human beings at the end of the day. Nobody's perfect. And just because you're coming here as a repat doesn't mean you're better than the locals. Just because you're coming here as a repat doesn't mean the locals are better than you. It just means that we're all humans and we have to understand business and we have to understand that a great idea is a great idea in the right hands <laughs> and the right hands can also be influenced by who you tell that idea, not just who you partner with, even who you tell that idea can lead to them planting that version of a seed that they want and it grow into a GMO plant. <laughs> instead of it being an organic plant. So you have to be very careful with what you do. But Yeah, and definitely let's, I want to leave this and say that we're talking about, you know, protecting yourself, protecting your dreams and all of these things. And I feel like um, a great way for anybody to, damn, I lost what I was going to say, hold on. No, and I want to leave you guys with this and say that even if you ever come across um, anybody that might copy or mimic and remember that no idea is original, no idea is owned by a person, it's, it's in the universe, it's in that cloud that Adam was speaking of, and we have the ability to connect with that idea, manifest that idea and bring it down. That's it. That's all that we do. We do not originate any ideas. Nothing is original. Everything is redone. But even when you have someone come with your something that you have thought, 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 thought on, nobody can ever do it like you. Nobody can ever make it come to life like you can. So even if you ever see somebody stealing it, it's going well, it's doing good. Let them do well. Let them do good. You do yours and see just how far you can go. Well, okay, guys. I hope that you like this video. Once again, this is M. Zadi. Magitura, Adam. Next time. Bye. Bye. Ni roko, kini